It's Brave. I got this Brave log splitter in. Starts up and then just dies. So most likely it's the carburetor. So we're going to be cleaning the carburetor today on it. Okay, we're going to start by taking this boat off for the air breather. I always check the air filter, make sure it's all good. It's pretty new, so it's good. All right. And then there's two bolts. That's right here. Five sixteenths. Okay, they're both five sixteenths. Then there's a vent tube back here you have to pull off. I'll be like that. There's a gasket on the back, so don't lose that. Okay, we're gonna take the gas line off, but before I do that, we're gonna turn it off, which it's off. All right, we're gonna take the gas line off, a pair of pliers. Pull your clamp up. I, I always put a little twist in my gas line to break it from the break the seal on it. Normally it came up come up pretty easy then. I just see this one didn't work out that well, so there it goes. And these bolts that's on the carburetor are 10 millimeter. And then the carburetor is just hanging there on the governor rod. Which is right here. Just gotta turn your carburetor a little bit. Normally it slides out. Do not forget there is a spring too that goes on there. You gotta get off. A little tiny spring. That's right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. All right, this bolt right here to take the bowl off is half inch. Yes, there's gas that comes out, so if you want, get a bowl, catch the gas on so it's not getting all replaced. I'll take this pin out, then the float comes sliding out. Now, do not lose your needle that's hanging on that float on the other side. And it's right there. Oh, I just dropped it. All right. All right. I don't have any new gaskets. I didn't order none. So I'm not going to spray on these because it usually mess them up. But I will be spraying inside all the holes. Put eye protection on or so you don't get sprayed in the eyes. Make sure it's coming through all your holes. Let's 
so far it looks good. You can see it shooting out right there. That's what you want. And I'm gonna go shoot some air through it too, just to help clean things out a little more. Sometimes that really helps get anything that doesn't belong in there out of there. And use all back feed it. Watch your eyes, whatever you do. All right. liking what I'm seeing so I'm, I think I'm gonna be content of it's gonna be pretty well cleaned out pretty good clean the bowl but there was a little bit of dirt in there so that's what made it run rough. Run and then just die. It was all plugged. This is very important too. There's holes. Be careful to take that gasket off. And as screw off past the threads, do not pull it across there because you destroy them. Then there's holes. Make sure they're all unplugged. Mm, they seem kind of. They seem like that was a little plugged. Oh yeah, I cleaned it out good now. All right, put your gasket back on. Set that to the side. Carburetor, grab your float. Make sure you got your needle. It goes back in this hole right there. Right there. Make sure you clean the float off too. Usually I'll just go ahead and spray it off once I get it all in. Put your pen back in. Oh, I missed it. Sometimes they only go one way. There. All right, put the ball back on. Bolt. Tighten that back up. And normally you just use a ratchet wrench, but I tighten it with this. Okay, I'm going to put the carburetor back on. First off, you want to make sure you get your little spring in the hole, the little hole, in your governor rod. And 
They're both on. Now I'll slide it into the plastic piece. There. Put your bolts back in. And they're 10 millimeter, or they do have the T square, or the T uh, bits that you put in. Torque bits. Make sure everything's lined up before you tighten it all the way up. doing that opening it up I'm seeing if there's any gas or any or any water in the gas I don't see really nothing that looks okay you should be wearing rubber gloves when you do that uh, okay I'm gonna put the gas line back on press my clamp back on there All right, I'll turn the gas on. See if there, if you got any leaks in the bowl. You know, maybe it didn't seal right. Definitely want to check all that. And you can reuse the gaskets. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just you got to make sure they're good shape. If they're cracked or anything, you got to get new ones. No ifs, buts about it. But we're all good. There's no leaks. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put everything back on. And get that hose squeezed back in there. Make sure your gasket's in the back. Five sixteens to put tighten them up. And put this back on. Your regular cover. subscribe. It doesn't cost you nothing. Thank you for watching.